Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of our Kuvox IPPBX tutorial. In this episode, I will share about the Quick Setup Wizard, which will be very useful for first-time users. After the installation of the T-Series hardware device is completed, users can log into the management address. We highly recommend you use the Quick Setup Wizard for the first installation. Quick Setup Wizard is especially designed on version 4.0.0 software for Kuvox T-Series IPPBXs to help you quickly and easily set up your IPPBX system. After completing the wizard settings, you can use the IPPBX basic features. Next, I will show you how to set it up. First, use the default login credential to log into the system. The default username and password are both admin. Click on the button on the bottom left concern to start the quick setup wizard journey. Step 1 is the regional configuration. The language setting determines the prompt language. Time zone will set up the system time zone. Please select the time zone of your region. Opera mode can set up system analog trunks opera mode. In general, use the default FCC. Tone zone will set up the system tone zone. Please select your region. After the selection on this page, please click on the button to the next step. Step 2 is the extension configuration. Click on the add button to bulk add extensions number. Fill in the start extension number and count. The system will automatically generate extension numbers in descending order from the starting extension number. At the same time set the extension password. If the password is left blank, then the system will auto-generate random passwords for the extensions. Click Submit to take effect. And click on the button to the next step. Step 3 is the trunk configuration. Click on the Add button to set SIP trunk settings. Choose one type, generally client mode are the most commonly used to connect to the VOIP providers for low-cost long distance, and international phone calls, while the server mode is only used when users want to do SIP trunking between IPPBXs. Here I take the client mode as an example. Fill in the SIP server domain or IP address which is given by the service provider in server address. Meanwhile set the username and password and auth user. After finishing these, click Submit and go to the next setting. Step 4 is the operator configuration. Set up the system's operator extension number. By default when there is no incoming call destination number, all incoming calls will go directly to the operator extension number. Click on the next button to continue. Step 5 is the dial rules. The dial rules allow users to use different dialing prefixes, dialing pattern to dial out through different trunk lines. There is a preset dialing rule by default, which can make outgoing calls directly. The dial pattern of X dot indicates the dial number has to start with a number and it has at least two digits long. Then, select the available trunk for making outgoing calls. Step 6 is the network settings. This part can set the two network interfaces of Kuvox IPPBX, the one port can be set to static IP, DHCP or PPPoE. The LAN port can only be set to a static IP. By default, the one port IP and LAN port IP of Kuvox IPPBX are factor set to 192.168.1.100 and 192.168.10.100 respectively. You can modify the above parameters according to the actual application. Step 7 is the password configuration. The system default admin password is admin. You can change the admin password in this step, if not, you may skip the step. Step 8 is the proxy setting. In this step, you can fill in the required proxy service user information such as company name, company location. Then, select the domain server and set your own domain name, please choose the nearest domain server from your location. After completion, click the save button and click on the download button to download the user license file. 
Next please send the downloaded file to the sales manager or distributor to obtain the key certificate file. Then after finishing the quick wizard configuration, go to add-ons remote access settings and click the upload button to upload the certificate file to activate the proxy service. Or click on the free trial button to directly apply for a certificate online for one year free trial. Follow the provided instruction to complete it. After all the configurations are done, you should see the complete checkmark shown as below. Please click on the reboot button to reboot the system and take effect on all change configuration. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please send them to our email. See you next time.